Hello everyone, Jonathan Decker, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist here, trying my hand at Facebook Live, wanting to talk about dealing with post-election stress. I've had a lot of people in my office this week whose families have had a lot of stress because they've disagreed politically, and now that our president-elect has been elected, uh, there's still a lot of it going on. A lot of finger pointing, a lot of anger, a lot of hurt. Uh, people are worried for various reasons, and we have protests going on. We have all sorts of concerns about potential uh, inequality versus potential retaliation versus all sorts of stuff going on. Look, no president, cabinet, government is as strong as all of us together. So if you voted Trump and you are pro-Republican, you now have an opportunity to show your inclusiveness. You now have an opportunity to show that you believe in a united, strong America. That all of these criticisms about, uh, and all these worries about what would happen to minorities, people of color, LGBT, that those are unfounded and that you will stand with everyone to preserve their freedoms. If you're a Democrat and you're freaking out for one reason or another, look, we can unite on the principles of freedom. We can unite on the principles of justice. We can unite on the principles of love. Choose love over hate. And the best way to do that in your home and family as well as across the country is to try and understand the position of the other person. We often criticize, name call, simplify, vilify those who disagree with us in order to strengthen our position, but it actually weakens it. The fact is those who voted Hillary did so for reasons that were valid to them. Those who voted Trump, their position made sense to them. Those who voted McMullen or Gary Johnson, they voted the way they did because their position made sense to them. Instead of shutting them down or listening to disprove, if you can listen to understand, you can build bridges with people. You can find common ground even if you behave differently or don't share the same beliefs. We can heal, we can unify our nation, our homes. I know a lot of homes, even between couples and family members, there's been a lot of tension even pull apart because of political discord. Let's unify by understanding, agreeing to disagree, and finding that common ground. That common ground should be that we will all stand up for the innocent and the weak, that we will all be inclusive and welcoming. This is a country for the poor, for the huddled masses. This is a country that was great and made great because of immigrant families. My family came from England. It came from Ireland. It came from Germany and Sweden. Our nation is great because of our diversity. Our nation is great because everyone here can pursue happiness as they see fit. That includes in our family members. So if your family member is choosing politically, religiously, romantically differently than you would have them do, this is an opportunity at the close of this election and just in life in general to show understanding and to respect their freedom. Thank you very much.